A couple of years ago, I made this video right here, which talks about how you can block your ads from say, political parties, maybe religious ads or something unsavory, like maybe drugs or alcohol or, or weapons or guns or, you know, anything that you don't wanna be associated with on your channel. So you as a creator can actually block ads if you're in the YouTube Partner Program. You used to have to go to Google AdSense to use these blocking features, but now YouTube have put them right in your YouTube studio on desktop. So I'm gonna show you how you can use that right now if you're in the YouTube Partner Program. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your settings. So I'm gonna pull that up right now. And we've looked at settings many times on this channel, but you can see here, there's a new section right below upload defaults called ad categories. You will see this if you are in the YouTube partner program. If you're not yet in the YouTube partner program for ads, the, you know, the thousand subscribers, 4,000 hours watch time, that level, then you should have this. If you don't have it yet, then you should have it very soon. So we're gonna click on that. And this is gonna be very much similar to the tutorial I did when I was covering it on AdSense. But here it is right in studio. This is how you can do some blocking. The first tab is URLs, where if you know the specific URL of the ad that you wanna block, um, say it's a competitor. Well, let's, let's say you're doing a brand deal and you're doing, say for me, I'm say if I was ever doing a brand deal with uh, TubeBuddy and so, on this video, or at least whilst I'm promoting TubeBuddy, I don't want the other tools coming in and putting ads on my videos whilst I am focusing on promoting TubeBuddy as an affiliate or as um, some sort of brand deal or some sort of one-off video or series of videos. So what I can do is I can actually come in here and just add in some of those other tools like maybe vidIQ or or Morning Fame, or One of Ten, or Potter Studio, um, different things where they might have different aspects of the tools that could be considered a competition to, say, TubeBuddy. Now, this is just an example. I'm not blocking any of these right now, but I could put those URLs in here. Uh, I could put like top level URLs, like just like vidIQ.com, or I could just go to if there's a specific link I want to just block uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so if any ads are pointing to those URLs then those ads will not appear on my channel. Now that's like the broad, that's like where you can really, that's the really pointy end of this tool. But let's just go to the, like the category section. First of all, sensitive categories. This is where we can block and unblock categories. You can see specific categories here, like alcohol. It says alcohol, it says unblock here. That means it's currently blocked. If I click it, I'm unblocking it. So it's telling me the action that will be taken if I click. So right now I've got alcohol blocked. There's something called bare skin image only, which I could block an image of models of either gender whose bodies have exposed or unclad midsection. So somebody who might be wearing, might be, might be topless or just be wearing a bikini or something like that. Maybe I don't want that associated with my channel. I can block that. I'm not gonna go through these one by one, but you know, some of these make sense. These are categories that people could have like a high opinion about one way or the other, like black magic, astrology, esoteric. Maybe you just, just have a thing about dating apps or whatever, advertising on your content. Um, then if you're a, a tech channel, maybe you don't want downloadable utilities advertising on your channel. Uh, so there's different categories. So you can block a broad category if you want. So you can see the types of things that are in there. Then there are something what's called more general categories, which is the third tab. And these are like very broad, like apparel. Apparel is clothes. What do you mean by clothes? Well, there's 18 subcategories, clothing, footwear. I, we can block these individually if we want to. And you can see I don't have any. It tells you even without expanding how many are blocked. So I've got none of these blocked here at the moment. So this is just like more general stuff. Is it business and industrial type advertising? Is it beauty and personal care? Is it finance? There's 52 parts in finance. A lot of advertising in that area and that's probably some of the most lucrative. So unless you have some sort of objection to it, you probably wanna leave some of these on because they have high CPM value. And that is probably one of the things that we need to talk about in the elephant in the room is every time you block a category, that's potentially blocking 
ads from showing on your content. So you wanna weigh the moral or ethical sort of level of, of the topic that you're blocking versus the CPM or, or, or the potential CPM value of those topics. You know, if you block something, those ads aren't gonna appear. That could lower CPM to your channel if those ads do sometimes occasionally or typically always play on your your content. So you have to weigh that up. There's no way of like, doing a math analysis of that. You just have to be aware that um, some of these niche areas are very high CPM value. Some of them are lower. If you keep everything on, you're gonna get more CPM. But do you wanna be associated with some of those sensitive categories back over here? Obviously video games isn't a sensitive category for most, but um, you know, you maybe, because you're, if you're a health channel, you certainly want to leave sexual reproductive health open because maybe, you know, it's very much related into your niche. Social casino games, most people, like I've got that blocked right now. Uh, maybe you're a lot of slots channel, you're probably gonna have that one open. So, you know, it's, it's gonna be related to what your content is and where, where you're at and what you want to be associated with or not associated with because some people will make an association there with or without this happening so in recap this is an area if you're in the youtube partner program you can block ads or certain types of ads or very specific ads from appearing on your videos in mid, mid rolls pre roll roll post roll now this only affects, now this is important, this only affects long form content. This does not affect ads that show in shorts because that's a different ad program. This is for long form videos only, the ones that play before or after your long form videos, the ones that you get the mid rolls with, it's those ads. This is, does not apply to shorts because shorts are in the feed in amongst videos. They're not associated with specific videos. So keep that in mind. This is all to do with ads that play directly on your videos. Now, as I mentioned, I covered the, the Google AdSense version of this a long time ago. I'm sure those settings are still there, but you can, it's much, much easier now that you can do it right in YouTube Studio on desktop. Uh, so let me know what you think. Let me know, first of all, did you know that you can block, even block ads as a creator, like it's different types, based on category, based on very specific URLs. Did you know? Well, if you didn't, now you do. If you have more questions about this particular feature, make sure you uh, leave them in the comments below. And I want you to go check out this video here, because guess what? YouTube thinks you need to watch this one. I haven't picked it, YouTube has. So make sure you go check it out. I don't know what it is. Let me know in the comments what video is showing right up here. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later.